Hey, how's it going? I'm back to give you a, another pregnancy update. This time I'm at 28 weeks and I'm just gonna fill you in on what's been happening for the past four weeks since my last update. I'm really sorry it's been so long since I've been on, but you'll get it. You'll understand why when I explain this. So just if you're new, you're very welcome. My name is Fiona. I have three children. I'm pregnant on baby number four. We're planning our fourth home birth, live in Ireland, in the centre of Ireland, um, and I'm just kind of giving you updates uh, of the pregnancy as well as other areas of interest for me, which are yoga, parenting, breastfeeding, uh, obviously birth and home birth. A lot has happened in these past four weeks that I would like to fill you in on. I'm going to start with the good news and the good kind of um, part of the update. So I explained in the last update that you need to be accepted by the HSE to go through, you know, to get the free home birth under the HSE, to go through the home, they call it the home birth scheme with the self-employed community midwife, but they are paid by the HSE. So I had my first visit and I applied, you know, just all filled in all the paperwork I needed to apply for the home birth. And I got worried back that I have been accepted. So I'm delighted. Now, obviously things can change if, something happens um for example if you, re you realize you have gestational diabetes that would change you can't go through the home through the hse uh for a home birth with gestational diabetes for example there's lots of other different things you could have high blood pressure you know different complications that might arise so you have to stay low risk and uh, the other good news is that i did have my gtt which is the glucose tolerance test not everybody in ireland has to take that only if you're required to take it for certain reasons. Uh, some of the reasons might be if there's a history of diabetes in your family, high or low BMI. What else? If you're over 40 is another reason. Um, there's, there's a few different reasons that you might have to take it. So I have had to take it in all my pregnancies because there is diabetes in my family. And this time, because I'm also over 41, so there was kind of two reasons that I needed to take it. But the good news is, my my sugars my fasting sugars and my all the sugars were perfect so i was so delighted because the added pressure of knowing that if i was over the levels that you know their levels for gestational diabetes that i would lose out on the free home birth through the hsc was, was kind of worrying but i tried to put that aside and i really focused on my, my nutrition on my exercise, on my kind of relaxing my mind, make sure I was, you know, doing my breathing and staying calm in the days preceding the test. Now, I know it mightn't make much of a difference, but it can make a difference because uh, obviously if you go out and have like a, a takeaway the night before your test, like I had the test at nine o'clock in the morning, so I had to fast from nine the previous night, even still, um, I just made sure I had like a really healthy meal with, with fats and proteins and not too much carbs. And for the preceding few days, I didn't drink any fizzy drinks. Not that I really do that anyway, but just kind of watched what I was eating. Um, made sure I was exercising a lot and, uh, you know, like staying stress free. Because if you have a lot of cortisol in your system, that can drive up your blood sugars. And obviously that would skew the test. So anyway test came out perfect so really delighted it's like on track for my home birth really glad you know in the best possible place I could be but then COVID struck our family in the past two and a half years we have not had COVID at all so it was just a bit of a bummer I mean I know practically everyone has had it at this point and I've taught so many people pregnancy yoga who've had it during their pregnancies or before or after or like for the birth as well. Like there's, it's, I know it's prevalent, it's rampant. Um, I guess this just new strain was particularly contagious because up until now we've been completely fine. Yeah, so that, it sucked on many reasons. Firstly, because uh, the kids were all sick with it, the three of them for about two days each. Um, but I was fine when they were sick so I could mind them. My husband was working in a different city, so he wasn't here. Um, but that was fine because then he came home and then I got sick. Uh, and I spent about a day in bed and then just resting then for about another two days. So it wasn't too bad. But um, 
yeah, I just found the getting comfortable really, really difficult. Um, I, I kept waking in the middle of the night, not being able to go back to sleep, like weird, you know, symptoms. Then there was also a heat wave the same week. So I was like trying to get comfortable with the heat, the pregnancy and COVID. Um, I did get the headaches. I never got a very high temperature, thankfully. I got the headaches and then I got the stuffy, stuffy nose and then the cough. But thankfully, all better now. And then finally, my husband then eventually got it. So at least we didn't have it all at the same time. Uh, so that was good. But yeah, it just kind of sucked because... You know, with the nice weather, you want to get out to the beach. We're in the Midlands. We can't do that. We were just at home, you know, online shopping and just self-isolating for the... It probably was about 10 days in total. We're just out of it, thankfully, because, yeah, it's just it's just a pain, you know, I suppose. Now, because, of, because I'm pregnant and I've had COVID uh, over 24 weeks, I have to get a checkup. Now, I'll get the checkup probably next week just in the hospital make sure everything's fine but I can feel loads of movement I feel good I feel better I don't feel 100% yet probably about maybe 60-70% as in I'm fine but I'm still not my energy isn't up to its normal level so just looking forward to it when it is but at least now um, we can move on um, but yeah it's just a bit of a shite thing to happen I suppose but look better now than just before the birth so i'm going to just give you a little view of my bump and how it looks at the moment at 28 weeks looking good loads of movement feeling good feeling excited and yeah happy to be feeling well again so that's all the news thanks a million for watching if you have any questions about home birth or anything like that, about yoga and pregnancy, put them down in the comments. I'd be delighted to answer them. Yeah, and thanks for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.